HTML 31 as well. There is no turning back. Right, this is Apocalypse Tier 31 run right now. And this is my brand new, 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 spanking new Devastator build. Four Impales, three Earthquakes. With a Reflect Mullets in the middle for the buff. So we won't obviously need any sort of like buffs or anything like that at all. We um, won't need anything. What? Yeah, obviously. Your Same as mine. Get your look into it now. All right, let's get it done. Big boy numbers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh -oh. We actually got the earthquake to uh, 4.4 now as well. And cooldown reduction. I did say it was just a piece that I needed, and um, even on my last video I did on my guide, I did actually get one of the pieces changed, but it wasn't fully maxed, and I think that's what cost me reduction last time. But this is a uh, fully optimizing it. Was that actually an elite? Because he just got destroyed. And you can get spiked too. Get spiked and die. You shall die, scum. Right, let's get to this. Oh. <laughs> I forget how strong this build is. <laughs> It's kind of a hit from this attack, but it keeps moving. That's good because we're taking out the minions while they're stuck over here. But I mean, look at that. Just a couple of earthquakes. We haven't even buffed anything. We haven't used anything to buff our attacks, and we're just demolishing the whole map. Easy, easy, easy. You can just look on the mini map and just watch all these little dots, and they just disappear.
we go. 2.6 mil. Essential level 84 as well. anything uh, for a while that we've needed so I'm just gonna use it on random points I guess. We've got some extra for armor as well. Look at that max that soon enough. Oh we just got a sun pool. Awesome. I'll check that out after. Right this again this is not like the most optimal or this is not like a speed run per se. This is literally just show my new build and I'll just take random routes throughout the map just to the trials and uh, show you it's about especially the four in pals three earthquakes. Again, I haven't seen a single build like this yet, at all, anywhere, anywhere. Not a single build with four impales and three earthquakes. And of course, you can use a uh, gravity leap buildies, which is what I, I was like, one of the first ones to show the video for it, and obviously show the build for it, and to beat the trials boss on like a day after or two the game came out, and I made the YouTube video for it as well. So check the timestamps in the YouTube video, you'll see. But um. Yeah man, uh, gravity leap's cool and all man, but it, it does get a bit boring and monotonous, so it's good to change it up. You're trying to get that in your build. Yeah, you can do it low cost, man. It's, it's definitely a good way to have, and you can definitely do some good things with it, for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely does some good damage, but um, yeah man, dude, like I said before, man, four impales and three earthquakes. And the thing is, the cooldown's so quick, you can do three earthquakes, four impales. By the time you do four impales, you do three earthquakes, come back. So that's like consistent, ten hits consistently, all the time. And you got to think about that damage that stacks up. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Hence why I'm saying I haven't had to buff anything. I haven't had to use death trinome or anything or secondary guns or mix it up or use armor pierce for my other one. Uh, the build's already got armor pierce and then resistance pierce high. So it's uh, my own hybrid build. It's just god tier. It's absolutely god tier. But again, if I get so many requests, I'm like ready in YouTube. I might, I might do a release video. But I literally haven't seen a setup like this at all yet. At all. Any, anything close to this? It's like when that um, that guy you on the stream, he's like talking about ape, uh, tier 40, thinking that like he's even going to be challenged. The guy literally camped, he was on this level, he was literally on this level, a guy joined the stream, he's like, he was cool, he's like wanted to just run some stuff. And then I think he's just trying to test out how strong my build is, so he's like, do you want to run tier 40? Bring it. Uh, brought it, he goes, alright, I'm going to stay at spawn, and you do the damage. I go, fine. I did so much damage, he just like, oh shit, <laughs> your build's a beast. And then uh, he was like, you just couldn't believe it, basically, so. As I said before, man, I don't just talk about the bills, I show the bills what they do. Like, I actually prove it while I play. Not just a little clip, I do full like, missions just to show you how it all works. But yeah, check this out. So, there's your three earthquakes. I mean, dude, they don't even swipe the three earthquakes, never mind the four in Another, oh, Yeah, two earthquakes and he needs to die, man. Just ridiculously stupid. Now, hopefully this one can survive a bit. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's gonna die. No chance. He's too weak. They're not strong enough. They're not strong enough. Really good. That's just one impale. <laughs> one impale, no buffs. But yeah, you can get some tips while you're watching low cogs. I know you wanted a a little insight info on my devastated build. I got you. I got you. I could have replaced one mod to do like more spikes, especially if I kill one, but um, we would sacrifice a little bit of anomaly power on that. But again, we don't really need it, so it doesn't really matter. And that's the cool thing about this, I can always edit the build. I've left it so it's it's got, not only is it god tier, but I can leave it so it can do even more. Like, I've left like a mod or two available. That are good mods, like anomaly echo, obviously, and stuff, they can be replaced with something else. But again, it's not needed, it's literally the perfect build. It does everything you need. 
There you go. The bird got killed in one motion. <laughs> That's one thing I do look about Devastator though, once you get them like in a certain perimeter or a certain like straight line or something on a section, it's just uh, it's just so much fun and you know they're just gonna get, they're gonna get slaughtered basically. Now we've got a couple of crawlers here, see if they can survive. They're already dead, like I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, look at that, we just hit it with the three earthquakes, so as soon as the uh, firestorm hit it, it was all over. I don't know why this idiot's trying to charge, you just got spiked. I appreciate the alert, man. thank you. Ammo's not really an issue when they're reloading as well. That's one dog thing about Devastator. Impaired is one of the more fun, uh, like fun moves overall. Earthquake is obviously phenomenal. The way it just turns through multiple. But I mean, look at that. Absolutely destroyed. Destruction. I like it. My style. Again, I haven't even changed my single weapon. I haven't changed a weapon, do anything. I think I just reloaded once, right? My first reload, full reload. So yeah, absolutely got it. So don't even care what loot we get, just run through it. Let's get out of here quick. It's the next section, next section. Oh, we did get uh, we did get three there. That's pretty dope. But yeah, wait until you see what I got cooking for my pyro. That's all I'm saying. I got so much cool shit coming for my pyro. Just need to get a few more pieces when we farm it. And uh, we are cool. They're going to be great. Dude. It's just, there's some cool stuff. I don't think no one's even picked. I don't know, there's some mods that some people haven't, like, either looked at them or maybe thought outside the box what the stuff you can do. And there's, like, two mods in particular I want to mess with on a pyro when it's fully leveled up. And have all the mods. Like, I want to lock all the tier threes. So there are some new ones as well. And that'll definitely like work, but yeah, there's some crazy stuff I'm thinking of doing. It's, it's gonna be dope. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, let's go. Straight through here, straight through here. The plaza of the world. The bum cheeks on that. Mint chocolate chip ice cream if you want. Ah, uh, probably four because you had most of that food, didn't you? Have, so. Oh, the mangoes as well. Got two mangoes left as well. It's all about the mangoes. Alright, let's get it. Mm. Nice and smooth. Let's get to work. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> I think the longest part is when it's a load times in the PS4. Literally. Yeah, put me in game. There we go. Twelve. First section of the boss. Uh, I might switch up some weapons and change some stuff, but again, it's not required at all. Uh, just I just play how I feel for the planet at the time. 
but as long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to show you that we don't need no Destronome, we don't need no Mage's Rage or nothing, and it's just destruction. I haven't changed my weapons to any buffs, and I've got buffs and other weapons as well, and I can go for that if it needed be at some point, but like I said before, this build is absolutely god tier. We'll probably hit the two billions for damage and stuff, but again, uh, I don't really care what we get to when it comes to the final one. So we get this done, and we're good to go. Alright, we're at the throne room now. Play a strawberry as well. What tango is that one? The orange one? There's a cherry in there. Why are you making some strawberries and cream? What I'm going to do is just move into this corner. If I if I know how to chase him, I can shoot him with earthquakes here. It's really beneficial for me. Again, nothing to do with like uh, even having to do position because you don't have to with this build at all. You're pretty much invincible as long as you're obviously on the offense. You can do something. I'm okay. Yeah, put it in there, thank you. I'm okay. But yeah, just talking about just. You didn't get common sense really. Also, what's uh, cool about this is for any like you don't always have to go through earthquakes, and hence why I said it's just a dog pass build. You could use like an impale. You can go one earthquake, you can go impale again, and you go back to another earthquake, another impale. And by the time you proc the last earthquake, just get your reflect and you get your earthquakes back like so. There we go. Easy. Easy piece. Catch you. No, the red one. Just too late. Another one. Right, let's go. Oh wow, they got destroyed. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I obviously know how strong my bills are, but when you just see the numbers and what you do, it's just crazy. Just And again, fun factor, you want the builds to be fun, that's the main thing. That's what I'm saying, like my Gravity Leap build is god tier as well, but it just got to be boring for me, Gravity Leaping. And it felt like the animations would just run up your... Um, every time you did a Gravity Leap 2, just to get one target, it's like the animations take so long. You're literally taking longer to do ad clears and uh, certain fights. Boss battles is obviously god tier, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing, but again, I've got bypassed it by getting uh, 4 in powers and I can do... <laughs> The same, if not more, damage to the bosses with the boring pals as well. 
consistent damage sort of there. And fun. Nice and clean. Let's go. Strawberries and cream for your thoughts. Let's go. Let's see that later. Let's get this trailer. Uh, Alright, so now because, like I said, I haven't really changed. We're already at this section of the map. I didn't even realize that quickly we're burning through this. Um, so, Alt of Okria we'll, uh, we'll bring out the other. Um, we'll bring out that Mage's name, Mage's Rage, and Death Tremol, Death Tremol, and uh, some of the other buffs I'll show you as well if we need to. It's not even essential. And uh, depending on how you switch your weapons out, there's so many rotations, different things you can do this build to make it way stronger. So many buffs as well. But then again, I find that with other builds as well, when they're doing like certain runs, you have to do so many things to get the setup. It doesn't always work as well. It's not, and that's what I'm saying. You can't be optimal if it doesn't always work. But when you got a build that does everything without having to do any buffs, I think that's the most perfect optimal. That is a glad tier build to me. A build that doesn't even require like specific situations because everyone knows how this game works it's not all specific for like moves and stuff uh, but yeah I will show you if you didn't know that about Devastator as well you can actually reflect the uh, all Creole's attacks as well, when you're in the circle, if you need to. It's pretty cool actually. And I said, on my videos I was doing this when it, the game first came out. <laughs> so that's why I love Devastator, the Devastator has got so much tech and so much things they can do. It's absolutely amazing. There we go. So this is uh, saying about getting him in a straight line like that. It's so, it's just amazing. 360 reflects. Hit him in the face. Pow. I mean, you can see even if two earthquakes and spikes, we don't always get to even hit with a second in power because it does so much damage. A lot of people do hate this boss fight, though. They hate it with a passion. It's understandable, though. It is a bit of an awkward kind of boss, but that's uh, definitely different. I mean, in a solo game, I don't mind it. Online, it's a little bit different because it does get a bit frustrating when it's a bit laggy and uh, uh, there are different people around. Or some people are not sure how it all works correctly. <laughs> Corsair. You're only going to get a chance to throw that boy. But yeah, even if you feel like you're getting low on HP or you're losing low on your shield, just even one earthquake is more than enough to just keep the HP tucked up. One earthquake gives you a bit of chip, and look at this, because the build, the bleed, over time, it keeps that shield going consistently. But yeah, same again, when I was running a, a pocket tier 40s, I didn't even get close to even getting knocked at any point uh, when I was actually playing.
and of course when we get to those higher levels we'll have more uh, ascension points as well so we can actually add like more defense options if required but it'll scale to whatever you need it to and the damage as well right this guy needs to die minus one he dead right, you need to die as well he dead too bit of a reflex swag how one earthquake will do. But that's when you know you're confident about your build. When your build is that strong, when you hit it with that one earthquake, you can just walk away because you know they're going to die. You know what you're doing. You're baited. Perfect. Now we can mix it up. We can go for impales first rather than earthquakes. But again, this is without even the Paladin's buff. This is just basic base damage. Right, we don't have no shield yet. So let's kill these. Get our shield topped up. We're back at shield at 50% now. I think it's phenomenal that they actually figured out a way to give a Devastator shield. I think that's such an uh, amazing thing though, I've got to say, for the DLC. This guy's going to try and slide that uh, Corsair. He's probably going to try and slide in attack. After, yeah, that's good blade. Yeah, there's a slide. <laughs> but he slid to his death. The animation's good on the attack itself. It's pretty cool. I do like it. But again, you can just reflect it. Or hit him with an impale and he just switches stuns up. One to go. Right, this guy. Let's see how much he can take up to one earth kick in the pile. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna survive. Mm. Yeah. Look at the bleed now. That was just one. Yeah, he's dead. Perfect. And the thing is with that, what was perfect to show you though is the fact that if I would hit him with another impale or an earthquake, he does it even more damage. So keep the numbers just keep going up and up. So that was even at the lowest one on one, and he's on a death state. But if we would have just shot him with any frack or any laser storm, twister, sandstorm, any sort of uh, damage over time attack, it's all over. Omen, Firestorm, anything, anything. There we go. K.O. Cushion's leg plates. Alright. We're almost there now, folks. Coming to the last section. I don't know man, this guy's way too comfortable for the next man father. He keeps saying his name like over too much and he keeps calling him father there. Whether they're trying to do some like Easter egg for the future DLC, I don't know, but I don't understand how you can just call another man father that many times away this guy's doing right now. Like call him Dead Doll or something, I don't know. Just don't be calling next man father that many times if you're not your father. <laughs> just don't add up. Just don't add up man. <laughs> Sounds like daddy issues right there. Sculptures, and then we'll get to it. Last trials, and that'll be it. Run, done. Nice and clean, people. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm.
This actually part's pretty fun, so I do like this section as well. It's pretty dope. And there's a lot of strawberries and ice cream. I've been away for a long time. So when life gives you lemons, eat strawberries and ice cream. Or cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And drink. Yeah. You know, I'm great. I get to bed as it gets. Chill. And don't disturb me again. Thank you. Good night. Too good. Alright. So what I'm going to do is, um, you get these snipers that come in the high ground, so I'm going to take these corners out first, run straight for these, I'm not paying attention to anything else. And again, if we keep the high ground, we can get force them to come to me, and we uh, have more control of the map and the board there, and positioning too. Perfect. Oh, is that a course? Sir? Oh, it was. Two more over there, though. Let's chase them. Yeah, and these have spawned back up here. So again, it's not always about uh, the toughest enemy. There's an animation slide. Reflected. How you like them apples? See, that's why I love Devastator though. They just teach you like count for any sort, pretty much anything in the game, and they're just so much fun to play with the right build as well. Four point nine million spike right there. Seven million right there. If you're struggling against certain enemies across the map, always get Omen, because it would obviously give you that bleed rock uh, through the map as well. Again, if you've noticed, I rotate around the enemies to put them in that position where I can hit multiple. And that's what's like phenomenal about the earthquake. Just multiple enemy attacks. And the fact that you got three like that with the range, absolutely amazing. Okay, so he got absolutely fatality right there. <laughs> Again, these are supposed to be like Captain Hunters or whatever called, or like sub mini bosses. But uh, they're peons to me. There you go. Right, that was quick work. Alright, since it's the last boss fight, um, we might just. Again, I might just bring out the shotgun, Mage's Rage, and Death Tronome, and switch it up a little bit. But uh, again, I'll just see how the fight goes. I just like to have fun with this fight. It's, I've done it like hundreds of times, and it's just a fun fight in general. I'll show you the damage numbers once the map's done as well, which is just on this part. So, so as soon as it's done once, I'm going to just go uh, straight to the end cutscene and we'll see the damage numbers. And as I said, it's always important to check those because it just gives you a breakdown of your build, what's working, what's not working, where you're doing the most damage from, if you can amplify the damage. That's why every mission I'll do, I'll always try and go back to and just see my damage numbers and see what mods are working, what mods are not. It's the best way to test it out. And uh, you can do expeditions do the same thing, but uh, I think with these higher apocalypse tiers, I think it's better to test it on these maps with the higher enemies as well. Because uh, again, if you take this build to any any expedition, <laughs> it's, it's just destruction all over the board. Like, so easy, so easy. I hope in the future they do have DLC. I would like apocalypse tier maybe 50 or something, and something more challenging in the future. But uh, wait until you see my pyro build that I'm working on. I've got to just get the pieces and I'll kind of do a little showcase for it. Right, here we go, folks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Last trial, last boss.
one pistol, but pew, three million. How? Told you. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Alright, we've got a Roaring Umbra with Sandstorm, Kinetic Storm, Clip Roller, we've got a Marshall's Gauntlets, and we've got a Helmet and Martyr. That's alright. Um, I haven't really done a build with the pool as well, but uh, I can probably do a build for that if I need to. But right now, let's check this out. So there you go, folks. Pretty simple and clean. Um, I'll just show you the damage numbers when we're finished and I'll just see what we've got. But yeah, flawless victory again with this new, new, new devastated build. Four impales, three earthquakes, let that sink in. I'm sure everyone's seen that a hundred times now. <laughs> Outriders World Slayer. Alright, let's get back to the menu, folks. Let's see what we get. In regards to numbers wise, and we can give a little bit of a breakdown of the build as well. And again, if it's requested on Reddit enough and it's requested on YouTube enough, I don't mind releasing the video. I did a God Bill video from my last one with the Gravity Leap, like I said, with the Despair. And I was one of the first ones to do it. And you can check my videos, um, the timestamps are there. I was the first one to upload it on YouTube with the Devastator at the time as well, 42 seconds on the last boss. That was before anyone had the Death to Norm kind of Mage's Rays combo and anything else, armor piercing and stuff. Way before that, way before that. Um, and again, just check the timestamps, go on the YouTube video, check the dates and the, when it was done. And it was definitely for a lot of people, even done it. And that was in solo, my own build, my own specific build. I did do another video explaining what I was doing in that fight a little bit. But again, this is like the new, new, ultimate, OP, Devastator build we've got. With a bit of change. Well, actually improvement, because you don't really need a gravity lead, as you can see, for anything. But yeah, like I said before, think outside the box. Don't copy other people's builds. Do your own builds. Make it unique to fit your own playstyle. As long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. That is the main thing. So there you go, folks. Four billion damage. Four billion in my new build. Uh, Earthquake did 1.8 billion. And even look at my impale. 768 million damage off impale. Uh, Ravenous Locust, look what that working, 266 million, did more than Omen, 259, Bleed was 230 million, Class Node Upheaval damage, 168 million, Fired my, well, Mud Firestorm damage, 167 million, Class Node Impact Point damage, 160 million, Burn was 150 million, Even the Light Machine Gun put out the 21 million, <laughs> Last Rating Push 3.6, and even look at my Reflect Bullets, 2 million. So yeah, uh, I'll cover the last two actually. Uh, so we got Shrapnel damage. <laughs> Which I just, which was on my pistol, which you just saw me use at what three or four times, at 1.9 million, Revolver 315 at automatic shotgun, which again we only used for the buffs, so that was 101,000. So there you go, folks. Um, four billion damage, four billion damage, flawless victory. When you've got to build, and again, if you want to see, just put in the request. I don't know if you like 100 likes or uh, so many ready requests, then I don't mind sharing the build. But like I said before, man. Captain P67, first to do it, best to do it. And uh, the facts are there, man. The facts are there. The videos are there, the proofs there, the bills are there, the videos are there for a proof. And obviously, it's all time stamps to check it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the 4 billion damage. That's my new, 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 new Devastator build.